Should it be voted on with a couple of games left in the season? Well, it, it really it, it shouldn't be, but it has to be because in order for Western Athletic Conference players to get involved in any of the All-American teams, the All-American teams are all voted on late in November. And if you want the guys that make all whack to then be put into the pot of All-American selections, it has to be, you know. And uh, those people that have late games, uh, those games are just not part of the selection. All right, this week's senior profile, Kent Kofensis, an all whack safety. Kent Kofensis, the Rainbow Senior Defensive Safety, is one of Hawaii's into the all whack first team. Kent shares the honor in the secondary with Tom Rotello and Scott Thomas of Air Force and Errol Tucker of Utah, easily some of the finest talent in the nation. The Rainbow's game against New Mexico was a showcase for Kent's skills as he unleashed his most ferocious hit on freshman receiver Terrence Mathis and returned an intercepted pass 55 yards for a touchdown. You literally blew by people like they were standing still. I, I wanted to score so bad. I'd never scored a touchdown off the interception in my career of football since I started at the age of 10 in junior high, high school. Never. And I wanted one so bad. Kent comes from a family of 13 brothers and sisters. The Kofensis family has a tradition of great rainbow warriors. Brothers Mark and Kurt and Kyle have all been rainbows. Mark Kofensis played four years in the NFL before being cut earlier this season. Kent knows there are no guarantees in pro football. Have you learned from Mark how tough it is to make a living in the National Football League? From his experiences, yeah. It's so hard because he's a really good player. He belongs in that league. And to see what he's gone through, you know, you just make sure all that more to get your degree and just, you know, don't count on it. Because a player like him, with his caliber, he should be playing, but he, you know, he hasn't gotten the breaks this year. I guess I would think it would make you kind of think it's a bonus if it works out. It is. It's a definitely a bonus. You, you always should have something to fall back on. And my parents keep telling me that, and it's sticking in my mind. So I'm definitely going to get my degree. In his five years at Hawaii, Kent has made over 180 tackles and 10 interceptions. He's been in on many big plays, but his most memorable game had little to do with big hits or interceptions. My biggest moment and thrill was this year in the Fresno State game when my parents saw me for the first time in my college career live. That was my biggest thrill. I mean, you can take away the interceptions and the big hits and whatnot. It was a thrill to see my parents in the stands. It was a great feeling. I was a little nervous because I really wanted to perform well for him, but I could have played the worst game of my life and they still would have been just as proud of me. So it didn't matter. Number nine, all whack defensive back, Ken Defensive. Of course, Kyle still has a year of eligibility left, and then there's another Kofensis waiting in the wings. Uh, what's the odds of getting Sean Kofensis to come? Well, here? we hope we can get Sean. Sean is, uh, they tell us about Kent's size, and, and uh, uh, kind of between Kent and Kurt in terms of size, and he's big and uh, bigger than Mark and, and uh, Kyle, and has Kent's speed, I guess. Uh, so he's somebody we're definitely interested in. Boy, they've made a difference in the program, haven't they? They really have. You know, just the, the neat thing, Jack, all the brothers in our program, you know, the Mafalas, the Nongas, uh, the Kofensis, uh, the Goas brothers, uh, that's really neat because that means that the older brother has thought enough of the program that he's recommended the other guys are here, and I think that, that really says something. In our next segment, highlights, San Diego State and Hawaii. Let's set the stage for you last night because... Uh, Certainly the elements played a large part in this when uh, the game started out with light showers and heavy winds. Those winds really whipped that rain around. 